이게 여기가 저 영국 영국과 영국 근래 있는 아일랜드 아니에요. 영국도 어 그때까지 레브론 어 우리나라에 못 들어왔다. 영국 들어왔다고 못 살았네. Britain, Great Britain tried to deny my visa, issuing visa to me, even several uh, a week, a couple of weeks ago. Some people insisted that uh, Father Moon would come to England and uh, he will destroy England. <laughs> But you think I am here to destroy your country? <clears throat> I have been speaking all these days, every day in one nation for several hours. So my voice is going out. So maybe I will have to tame myself. As an ordinary man, at the age of 86, 57 days, every single day, I spoke for several hours in each nation. One day, a nation. Ordinary man would give up by now. I'm taking this speaking to a, as a venture, adventure, and I, I put my life on it. Maybe I'll die on the way, in, in the middle of this speaking tour, but that would be my honor. I'm trying to deliver this message, this truth from God, to every possible single person in the world before I die. I was born as a farming boy, even when I was young, even younger than 10 years, before 10 years old, I could see many things in advance. Many times, people brought the pictures of young people to marry them, but when I look at those pictures, as a young boy, I could see if their marriage would be successful or disaster. So I, t I threw them away if the marriage is no good. If it's good, good match, then I put my hands on. So that's the way I helped the people in the village. So I was famous about it when I was young. Everything was given from God. There was a revelation. I did tell many people his fortune. You know, sometimes I told some old man he would die in a week, then it happened. Sometimes I chased people out of my house immediately because I could see the, that person's past cr criminal record. Everything came true, so people were afraid of me even when I was a young boy. Therefore, I can tell you now, there is no room for anybody's life, a divorce. Divorce shouldn't be tolerated or admitted. So when I come to a nation, I can see the future of that nation too. Other people cannot see, but I can perceive. Even when I pass somebody, I can see that person's future. Sometimes I can tell somebody to pass me on the left side, not right side. But they, if that person insists to pass me on the right hand side, he won't go further. In several steps, he will return and pass me on the left side. Many things happen like that in my life. Well, not because I am 
a great man, but because I have been told by God. I have not revealed this kind of life until five years ago, but I started sharing everything with you. Even now, I am saying this and that, but this is not my own talk. My mouth is just being used by somebody above. Sometimes I, I can say harsh words to you, but that's not my intention. So who understands this? Nobody. Grand, grandparents. I'm talking about my young age too again, when I was even less than 10, eight years old, nine years old time. The grandparents and uh, my father age people, all those people bowed down to me because they could not figure it out how I could see everything in advance. So now, as a grandfather, 86-old man, I'm standing in front of you, giving you this truth, the truth which I have been receiving throughout my life from God. This is like my will. Actually, this speech contains a lot of truth, because it's my obligation to teach you the truth from God as much as I can before I pass into the spirit world. So I'm here standing in the middle of island. I came to England 27 years ago. Well, that time I bought a Rolls Royce too. Maybe it was something like $70,000. But now I, I, I was told that that car is not existing anymore. Maybe it disappeared. <clears throat> well, Great Britain is supposed to be a land of gentlemen. Maybe they needed money, so they sold it. <clears throat> well, with that money, if they can save people's lives, that's good. Well, we are wasting time here. Let's get back. No matter what they may try, in the secular world, without God's involvement, they cannot accomplish world of peace. We need help from God to create the world, world of peace here. My wife knows well about me. When I sleep even every night, I am in communicating with God and the spirit world because I constantly talk even while sleeping. Nobody knows why I'm doing that. <clears throat> Father Moon is asking Reverend Song how many years he has been in the Unification Church. Maybe 30 years. 30 years is not that long. <laughs> I repeat, therefore, is this God's commandment? What about Reverend Moon's delivery of this message? It's not my choice. I was told by God to do this, so that I'm doing it. When your nation and the world are declining, how can you sit 
idol. Therefore, the time has come to launch an able type na United Nations that will set its course according to God's will. In the beginning, Abel was killed. So therefore, in Adam's family, the third son, Seth, replaced Abel's position. So that the blood from Abel is, has been crying throughout human history. So what about Jesus? Jesus came as the second Adam. Lord of Advent comes as the third Adam. We are talking about perfected Adam. The first Adam failed on the family level because he could not establish his own true family. God wanted to see his own family through Adam's true family building. What about Jesus? Jesus came as God's begotten son. You think he came to live all by himself and die on the cross? No, that's a nonsense. He came to find his true bride so that he could build a true family and uh, produce true children. Without doing that, he could not leave his true seed behind. Only through marriage and establishing family, one can produce seed. In other words, if you want to harvest fruits, you have to plant true seed so that uh, you can have a true tree, true olive tree. The first true seed as a man, as a woman, uh, the, uh, the, the first Adam and Eve, they are not in enemy relation. Adam and Eve were born as a twins. So the order was Adam first and the Eve second, but they uh, they were in twins position. Therefore, my question, who was born between Adam and Eve, man or woman? You Irish gentlemen, answer me, ladies and gentlemen. Who was born first, man or woman? It's a fundamental question. Just, just seriously think about it. Who, who came first? You read the Bible. Adam was created first, so man was created first. But in reality, it, in order for God to create Adam, the man, why did he create man? For what purpose? For Adam's own, own sake? What about you, ladies and gentlemen of Ireland? God created Adam just for Adam's sake? Then for whom do you think God created Adam? For God and for God's family, for God's land, sovereignty. Yes, that's true too. But then whom does God need? More than he needs God, he needs his spouse. That's why, as a precondition, prerequisite, God thought of Eve first, and then he created Adam to fit Eve. So it's a precondition.
When we say above as a precondition, we already think of below. By the same token, right and the left. Front, rear, they are all in the same relationship. There is always preconditioned. Well, just this much of truth is enough for you to come here tonight. Uh, I don't want to get into deeper. Are you with me? It's a precondition, you have to understand. Look at the shape of women. You can draw a woman easy, just round head and the triangle at the bottom, two legs. Why women shape such a way? Because of balancing with men. The woman's shape is such a way to balance with her husband. What is the meaning of man then? Let's talk about uh, people's love organ shape. Man's love organ shapes like a convex, it's long shape. It is the shape for, to give easily. You can give it to the near person or even far person. Then for what? The man's love organ shapes convex, long stick like. For whom? Your husband's uh, love organ shapes like stick. I am tell I am saying everything honestly and frankly, candidly. What about woman's shape? As a wife, you have to hang on to your husband's love organ, whether you live or die. When you go to a party, you can expect uh, delicious food. But uh, what, what is yours, really? What is truly belonging to me? Think about it. What is yours? Your mother? Your father? Your children? Your husband? Are they truly yours? What is the most precious in the world for you? People nowadays you know, have a trend to send the uh, aged parents to the senior citizens' home, and they live alone there, lonely life. Look at the ocean. Ocean doesn't appear all of a sudden from nothing. All the rivers flow into the ocean, and the ocean appears there. By the same token, we have our lineage. Look at that. Think, think about the baby in the ma mother's womb when they are in a state of fetus. They are living in the water. That water is salty water. You know that? I promised my wife that uh, I would finish my speech within an hour. Well, I didn't mean to make it longer, but uh, well, it may take for several days if I want to get into deeper explain. I mean, great explanation. 
For more than 80 years, I have been speaking. That has been my mission. My speech volume is reaching almost 1,000 books now. It's a library full volume. But the people misunderstood me. They didn't know me. So they labeled it with me with all crazy names. Look at the Christians nowadays. The ministers are selling the positions of elders and deacons with money. You think God will dwell in such, such a church? God will recognize such elders and the deacons? What about the families out there in the secular world? There is always fight and struggle. How can we think of peace there? What about king of peace? Who is he? I received uh, 1,200 crown. I'm not talking about one crown, but the crown of king of peace. All the tribes in Korea, over 270 tribes, they offered crowns to me as the king of peace. Maybe I need a museum someday. What about island? Your nation too. Well, by offering the crowns, people want to live with me in spirit or in physically. It's a matter of condition. If you sign a paper with my signature, then spiritually you are with me. Maybe the England opposed me for my entry to the country, but now if the Queen or the, the, the Prime Minister sign a paper saying that uh, I am fully accepted and they are sorry, then it's okay. We, we should stop selfish individualism. Let's so again, think about the precondition before entering the kingdom of God. As a precondition, there was the concept of hell. We have to create heavenly tradition and we have to build a legacy behind and leave it behind us when we leave. If you want to build the kingdom of God on earth, you have to be able to, you have to be restored back to the original position of Adam and Eve so that we, you can inherit the lineage from God. But you cannot uh, inherit God's lineage directly from God. You need a mediator. That's the position I came for as the true parent of humankind. All the things in the world, think about if you don't have your thumb, you, do you appreciate the value of your thumb? Well, of course, each hand, has, you have five fingers. But without thumb, think about the rest of the four fingers, how can they function? Thumb is there as the center. Have you thought about it? When you fold your thumb, so all the rest of the small fingers come above it. 
and you, you can form your fist. Try it. Try it. Try to form a fist. If your thumb is in the position of God, second is Adam, third is Eve, fourth is children of Adam, uh, no, no, son, and the fifth one is the daughter of Adam's family. So centering true parents, a family of five is formed. If two hands come together, not uh, your back of your hands together, not sideways, but when you come together and uh, cross your fingers together and form, each finger has three joints. So what it means is you try one time, two time, and at least by the third time, you have to be successful. You need three points in order to form a space. Just two, connecting two points is a straight line, one line. But you have three points, three dots, you can create space. There is always three, number three. Above, center, below. Right, center, left. Front, middle, rear. They all consist of th number three, three points. If anybody makes a mistake, they have to repent. Even Reverend Moon, when he feels guilty, he repents. Again, one, two, three. Three is an important number. In, in, in a family, we are talking about mother's position. So when you count one, two, three, four, five, six, it comes to the th number three and the number eight at the center, middle number, on counting your fingers. So God lost these numbers, number three, number eight. What about the dialectical materialism, which was promoted by the communism and democracy? There has been fight between communism and the demo free world democracy. But we are talking about number three, above, middle, low, right, middle, left. So these three numbers should be combined as one, united. Usually when you look at a seed, usually there are three layers too in order to protect the life of that seed. That little seed, no matter how small it may be, contains every attributes of a tree which would come out of the seed and grow out. What about between man and woman? Are they created to feed each other? Are, are they feeding each other? Only the eyes? What about eyes and nose and mouth? And the chest? Belly button? And what else is left to be, feed each other? The love organs? There, you have to be intoxicated. Even if you fall into that love relationship, you don't die. You have to live there in eternity. You shouldn't come out of it. Is there anybody who doesn't want to fall in love with your wife or husband? Only those who know true taste of love can go to the kingdom of God. 
Those who do not anything about it, you are bound to hell. I'm talking about the importance of the conjugal relationship between husband and wife. Do you love your husbands? Do you? We are talking about loving and harmony with your spouse. Without having center, how can you build your career? If you are like a wish-wash person, you will be swayed by mafia and anybody. So you have to verify your identity. As a husband, you have to feel that I, I am born for the sake of my wife, vice versa. Try divorce your spouse. You, you will, your life will be even more miserable. You wouldn't find as good as your original husband or original wife. No way. This is the most serious issue. Also, fundamental issue. So, as a hus as husband and wife, you have to cling to your spouse until you die. No matter what it may take, you have to stick to your spouse. If, if it takes rope, you have to tie yourself to your spouse. And that's the way you can have your true husband and true wife. And upon that foundation, you can build a true family. And you can have true children. No way to divorce. So nowadays, I'm teaching people the time has come that between husband and wife, when you go to bed, you should be naked. Whether you fight or you argue, because uh, between husband and wife, you are only half person. So when you sleep together with your spouse, another half is coming with, uh, to you. So two of you put together finally forms a wholesome human being. So if you are really angry and you feel like dying, you better die yourself, by yourself. <clears throat> but you shouldn't get divorced. Your life is not just for your, your sake. So absolutely no divorce. Do you marry to divorce? You think God expected a divorce from Adam and Eve? If you are in true love, you cannot be separated even for one hour. Even when your spouse is going to the bathroom, you should follow. Without permission from your wife, you cannot go any place. So it's a natural phenomenon, a natural feeling. What about you, ladies and gentlemen in Ireland? 